This is no ordinary block of wood. No, no, my friends. This block of wood has a notch in it, which automatically makes it awesome. Uh, you know, what could I do with this block of wood? I uh, could probably uh, beat uh, small creatures senseless uh, with it. Uh, probably wouldn't, though, considering that this block of wood was actually designed to accommodate an iPad. It's an iPad stand. Look at that. Nice, huh? See, I could fit my uh, iPad uh, in the uh, portrait position or landscape. And if I wanted to, since I, I don't have the video all the way uh, pushed down to the bottom of my desk there, see how I've got it slanted? I could set it up like this too so I could type on my iPad. Just like that. And see, there's the arm that swings out too to give you more stability. And the nice thing is that despite this being sold by iEcoStand, more information at go.tagjag.com slash iEcoStand, uh, was they did not put their logo anywhere on this product, which kind of surprised me, considering that I've actually turned down a, a, a few product reviews because the logo of these products, these accessories, were just so in your face that it just kind of jumped up the entire accessory experience. I mean, accessories are nice so long as they don't beat you over the head with their logo or their product. I've gone to great lengths to hide certain brands and logos that I find relatively unattractive. So I have to hand it to iEcoStand. Not only uh, was their uh, packing, uh, I guess, materials fully recyclable, uh, they noted here, take a uh, little, give a lot, for every stand sold, we donate $1 to AmericanForest.org to plant a tree. There's the directions right up front. Uh, and uh, the, the thing that just astounded me is that, yes, not only does it work, specifically uh, with the iPad case that I have, fits in quite nicely, um, but it's not being gummed up with uh, stickers and other logos. It's not junky. It looks very, very nice. Uh, you know, I, I've got a, a cherry uh, stain here on my desk. This, I believe, is more birch, but it still looks really clean. It looks extremely nice. And if you have a nice product, the last thing you want to do is shove somebody else's logo over the top of it, especially when it's just standing there. So uh, it's a versatile stand for, well, let's say the iPad. Certainly, uh, for any other uh, product that you could fit inside that notch there. I think I've got you in my sights. So that's my, my, my left eye is my dominant eye. That's why, you know, when I go shooting and I, I close my left eye, I ended up hurting small animals. No animals were harmed in the making of this video, though, I just have to say. Uh, at least not that I know of. Either way, uh, I do thank uh, the folks uh, who uh, provided iEcoStand to give me the opportunity to uh, have a nice stand. So I, I stand virtually and applaud you. I'm not, not going to actually stand because then my face would get out of frame and you'd see my gut. Uh, get enough people on YouTube saying that I'm fat and I've got a complex. But my iPad stand is not complex at all. And that's why it's nice. My email address, chris at perillo.com. My blog, chris.perillo.com, at Chris Perillo on Twitter, facebook.com slash Chris Perillo, geeks.perillo.com, lockernome.net, coupons.lockernome.com. Am I leaving any of them out? Seriously, am I? Have I left any one of the websites out? I own like five billion of them. Uh, did I mention the uh, chat room? It's part of a live video feed, uh, and even if I'm not here in this desk, waving my arms, flailing around the home office, uh, you know, talking about stuff, uh, you know, the chat room is still... It's funny. If you stop into the chat room uh, and say something stupid, you'll get kicked. And if you say something really stupid, you'll get banned. And then you'll come crying to me. And I'll go, ah, you're the one who said something stupid. It's not my fault. Oh, I don't like that guy. I don't like your moderators. Your moderators are too picky. Yeah, well, if it weren't for my moderators, we would have to deal with comments like we get on YouTube all the time. And let me tell you. That's enough to make you not want to record and upload a YouTube video. Either way, I still do it. Even though I know you're going to talk smack, I guarantee there's someone in this thread who's already threatened to unsubscribe. Guarantee. Guarantee. Go ahead. Anybody who's uh, threatened to unsubscribe, I'll block you before you have a chance. And, and, and by the way, we'll also comment and call you a pancake because that's exactly what you are. Flat, going nowhere, and relatively tasteless. You.
not me. Either way, the chat room, typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.